Hello, we've been doing some major things in our backyard and I am so proud of them. My husband's been doing it with me. The first thing that we did were these garden boxes. We completely transformed them. And if you want a link to that, I'll post it above and you can just see how we did that. Now we are moving on to our back patio. So it was kind of part of that because we used the dirt from there to make those garden boxes. When we moved in, there was this stunning old maple tree that was huge and it kind of went over top of the garage. Well, then we had to sadly take it down. Um, so it was just incredibly sad for me, but then I used it as an opportunity to create this landscaping all the way around. And it has been really nice and we've really enjoyed it, but the patio space itself has just been kind of not that great because it was just gravel. So what we want to do now is dig everything out and put in hard paver stones to kind of make a hardscape so we can kind of extend our usable space there. So come along with me and I'll show you how we did it. First, I wanted to go look for some inspiration. I liked these a lot with the gravel between, especially the larger size. And also I thought of grass too, but I'm not sure we want that maintenance. But I thought this was just so beautiful and we wanted to give it a try. Here's what the patio looks like now. It's mid-spring, so everything's still kind of dead. The main thing is that log was rotten that was holding the dirt, so it's gotta go. As you can tell, my husband was thrilled to spend his week of vacation doing this project. It's Monday, and the first step is we moved all the plants. My husband was distracted with the bird app. I think this was before he realized this project was going to take the entire week. Look at what I found in my flower bed while I was digging out my plants. Well, you can tell that girls live here. I was able to repurpose these stones by the arbor behind me where we widened the path later. Now it's time to get this beast out of here. It was so satisfying that rotten log has driven me crazy for years. Let me tell you, that was so heavy. I mean, several hundred pounds. Don't make fun of my walk. We put this edging in eight years ago and it served us well, but it's time to go. It was great because I was able to use a little piece of it in my vegetable garden. It's weird to live in a place so long that you actually redo a project that you've already done. Or it could just be me because I'm always finding ways to improve things again. We had so much dirt to move out of there to level the space. And when I say we, I mean, actually it was my husband that did it. While he was doing that, I wanted to get started on the retaining wall. So we headed up to Menards to go get all our stone. This little girl thought this turnstile was just the best thing she'd done all day. After we got there, we deviated from our list and decided to go with a paver that was about three times the weight of what we were anticipating. So I brought home what I could carry in my van and then my husband had to rent a Menards truck and then he did two big deliveries with that. But finally we were able to get everything home. Oh man, we had so much work ahead of us. It's day two and we're ready to get started on the retaining wall. So the first thing the next morning, I went ahead and put my line up so I know where the back edge of the wall should be. And then I dug out all the dirt that was gonna be in the way. This little girl was living her best life while her parents were busy, bringing stuffed animals outside and eating snacks first thing in the morning. While I finished digging that, Adam disappeared with a broken hoe. He came back with this contraption and it actually turned out to be pretty handy. So we forgot to borrow a tamper from my dad, so we kind of made do with what we had. Don't hire us. Leveling sand is a must. Use more than what you think you'd need. So there was a little bit more of a learning curve than I anticipated, so I stopped the camera until I figured out a system. So by the ninth brick, I'd gotten it down. So I loved using a two by four to make sure the back's all aligned, two different levels, tons of leveling sand, and you just kind of play with it until you get it right. It reached almost 90 that day. For April, that was a record for us. I had done a bunch of research on how to do a right angle corner, but I didn't find anything I really liked. I was a little bit anxious on how I was going to do that, but I figured we could just kind of mess with it when we got to that. 
It took me the rest of the afternoon to get all the bricks laid for the first row. We were so blessed with endless days of sunshine that week. So yesterday when I sprayed myself, I apparently missed a ton because I was so burnt. You can see I finished up the retaining wall and I only did one block and one capstone. I liked this a lot better than two, it just seemed smaller and less obtrusive. Plus it worked out better with the entryway from the arbor. It was an exciting moment where you're ready to finally start laying the brick. We didn't really know what we were doing, so once again we started to lay a block and then turned off the camera so we could figure it out. Well good thing I called up Thor to come help me with my project. We were able to borrow the tools we needed for my dad so we got a tamper and a gravel rake and then we also borrowed a cement sole for later for when we need to cut the caps. So we figured out a system for the pavers to tamp down the rocks, make sure you use plenty of leveling sand again, make it nice and smooth with a graveling rake and a board, and then also use spacers. I used 2x4 widths. This was perfect, that way you could slide it in and make sure everything was correct. As you can see, the pavers themselves weren't level, so we had to not just level the sand, but then also for each paver individually. It was so time consuming and really annoying. The kids were loving this summertime feeling weather. We got the kids on the bus and ready to get back at it. I don't even know what day it is anymore. We never anticipated that it would take us the whole week. Our goal was to get the pavers done today. Oh man, it was so hard not to obsess about this because even if you moved it slightly, then it threw off the whole set it was really challenging to get it to look right. We're finally down to our last row. It was such an amazing feeling getting that done. So I spaced it one last time before I moved on. It was hard to get the line straight also because the concrete wasn't straight with the house. Now it's time to do some of the finishing touches. Well, we've made it all the way to the Saturday. Now it's time to cut the caps so I can glue them down. I was so anxious about using this saw. I've done it before. It does a great job, but it's so heavy and loud. It's really intimidating. The cap along the wall looked great, now it was time to move on to the corner. I was so anxious about this, but I decided just to do my own thing. I wanted a full piece in the corner, so I just cut off around it to make it fit correctly. That method kind of worked, but my angle was off and I had to go back and cut it several more times to get it to fit. I actually didn't get a final shot of it but you'll see it at the end when I put the glue on. The very last block also need cut off just a little bit, but then the girls interrupted me and wanted me to see the fairy garden. They were so proud of it. My last cut was the end cap. Before I glued, I went on to do the gravel. So I filled the back wall with all the pea gravel that was in the rock pit. This will just strengthen the wall and help keep it from shifting. And then I carried in dirt and spread it around and kind of leveled it out. At this point in the project, I was getting pretty tired of removing dirt. So I went and got my speakers and turned up some music. And then the girls came out and joined me. I wanted the kids to feel like they were involved too, so I had them help me put all the rocks in. So I got a sand pebble, and it looks brown, but there's sand on it, and then once it rinses off, it's like that white stone that's in the pea gravel. It'll look really nice. The kids had a good time helping me. It cracked me up how everybody had their own style of putting rocks in. 
I washed it one last time before I glued the caps down and then put the sealer on the papers. I've used this construction adhesive before and it works great. It really does hold the caps in place. So here's the corner as you can see. I did the best that I could. I feel like it came together pretty well. It was getting late on Saturday night and I was just pushing to get it done. I didn't know how the sealer was going to clean up so I didn't want to mess with it. I didn't have a liner and I used a trash bag. I've done this before, it works really great. Then you can just kind of throw it away when you're done. Before I rolled this on, I did a small test spot and it dried completely clear, so I was pretty happy with that. Because it was so thin, the application was a little bit challenging, but I figured it out and it went on well. So then you wait five to 10 minutes and then you put on a second coat before you move on. So I did a whole row and then went back and put it on again. That way I wouldn't have to track on it because you're not supposed to walk on it for at least 24 hours. My main problem is that the roller kept making it bubble, so I would just put it on with the roller and then brush off the bubbles and that worked out. I was pushing so hard to finish, I did not want to do this on Sunday, and I got it done before 9 o'clock. We are so happy with how our back patio has turned out so far. It has really exceeded our expectations, especially in ourselves. So in part two of this video series, we're going to add a big surprise. Had not planned on purchasing this, but it's gonna completely change the whole back patio. I can't wait to see what it looks like and to share it with you. So make sure that you stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And feel free to comment below on something that maybe you think we should add to our back patio or something that you've done to increase the enjoyment of your backyard living. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.